All right, welcome back, guys. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe. I got a couple things I'm gonna do with the truck. Um, pick up some windshield washer fluid because I'm yet again empty and I don't like the low washer fluid light on my dash. And then I also picked up a bunch of little uh, door panel clips because my door panels are like falling off this thing and it's because the clips are so beyond destroyed and worn out. So it's like freaking 10 bucks for a bunch of those. Then I re-registered the truck, so I gotta put those on. All the clips are brand new now. Got rid of these old destroyed ones. So now it should stick to the door pretty good. Just did a bunch of little stuff to the truck. We rewired the exhaust brake. I installed the trans temp gauge. We had a little fuel leak on the lift pump. I fixed that. There was an oil leak over here, basically where we put our new uh, mechanical gauge in for the oil pressure. So we fixed that. I uh, checked the oil, it's a little low. So I just picked up some oil. Um, I'm gonna throw that in. I'm gonna zip tie this little wire up. Got some double-sided tape to retape this up there. I set the wheels as straight as I could get them. It looks kind of turned from here. But yeah, there you go. Wheels are straight, as you can see. The steering wheel is not straight. It's turned to the left a little bit. So I put the wheels straight, and now I am just going to lay under here, loosen the two bolts on the drag link right there for this uh, idle arm, pitman arm, whatever you call it. And then you literally just turn that a little bit and your wheel will turn left or right, whichever way you do it. I also took everything out of the bed so it was nice and clean and then pressure washed the bed just so the bed is clean because it is never clean. And I am also trying to trace down an issue. Um, so obviously I've had issues with my Speedo and my sending unit saying how much fuel I have in the tank. There is a way that you can test these um, gauge clusters just to see if everything is working properly. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. You hold this button down for like three, four seconds and then you turn the key to the on position. After I turn the key on, so I'm gonna release that. And you wait a second, it's gonna do its little weird Tetris dance. Shows all your lights. All the gauges go to zero. And then that is how you know all the gauges are working on your truck. Finally getting around to adding the battery accessory wire connector holder. I don't know what you want to call it. It's not really terribly pretty, but basically I had all of these just kind of clumped together like this side. I haven't done this side yet. Um, I just did the negative side. You only have to do it on one side of the battery just because all of my extras are over here. But it makes it way easier if I want to like add a light bar. I just unscrew one of these, put the little piece in, tighten it down. So it makes it way easier. All right. Pretty as she gets. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm leaving these big main ones because I want those directly connected. This is more for like accessories. Now it's time for a quick vacuum because it has not been vacuumed in quite a while. There we go. Quick little vacuum. I just zip tied my front plate to the grill because I don't have a license plate holder at the moment, but I'm trying to get pulled over less. So that's on until I can get a holder or maybe I'll just leave it there. I don't know. Got my rear plate cover off now. So we fixed the plate issues. I just picked up some more wheels and tires for activities this summer. I'm gonna go in the pile. I think I'm gonna pull off my windshield tint. My plate issue was the biggest thing on the truck, but the windshield tint just kinda attracts a little bit more attention than I'd like. So I think I'm just going to pull that off. Now I just gotta take some water and a razor blade and get off the rest of the residue. Another small mod, but the little things add up. Some rain visors. So I didn't originally want rain visors because on this kind of truck, the rear window doesn't sit in at all. So I figured it would look kind of goofy only putting some on the front. Um, but these ones actually sit in the crack instead of on the outside, these sit in here instead of out here on the top of the panel. So those should look pretty sweet. Just gave the truck a quick rinse. Again, here is my tail lights that the cops said were illegal because they were too dark or tinted or something, he said. Are those tinted covers? Ah. Uh, That's also on a spectrum, I like that they are. As you can see, they're red with like a slight color. 
slight darker color to them. They're more like maroon. Um, and I looked at the laws and all I could find anywhere, let alone the state of Maine, is that your taillights have to illuminate red when you press the brake and um, they have to be visible for up to 100 feet. And these are visible for a lot more than 100 feet and they illuminate red, so should be fine. And then rear plates on, like we said, the window guards are on, no more windshield tint, front plate is on, it's basically legal now. So for some reason my brake lights are on. <laughs> That's not supposed to do that. So I drove this old thing home last night and the tail lights, well, the brake lights kind of fixed themselves for a little bit. Um, but not completely. When I got home, they were still stuck on. I did, however, have my speedo and my fuel um, gauge back. So I am going to basically go over all of the grounds on the truck and clean the hell out of them and put them all back and see if we have made any progress. Um, I also got reverse light switch um, just because I did damage mine when we were doing the transmission rebuild and it was like 15 bucks and my reverse lights do not work. Um, they were working a little bit with the brakes on. <laughs> so again, I think that was a ground issue. Either way, it's not doing that anymore and the reverse lights don't work at all in general. So just decided to get one of those. And then some basic run of the mill flat plate covers. This is two together. And as you can see, they are not very dark, but it's just enough where it's gonna make the plates not look like white going down the road. So it blends with the truck just a little better. So here's our front plate before. And there's the after with the plate, not too dark. Top's definitely not gonna bother me for that, but it makes it so it doesn't stick out too much with white on the whole black truck. And then the rear one as well. You know, just a nice, easy little touch. So I can't figure out the damn brake light issue. Um, I did all the grounds. I cleaned everything. They're still stuck on. Some people told me it could be the brake light switch. So I just called uh, O'Reilly's and they got one there for 20 bucks. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to just go try that real quick. This was me walking out of O'Reilly's with our brand new brake light switch. We weren't having issues at the time. And then I went and gave the truck a wash and went home. The truck has entirely fixed itself. Brake lights work how they should. Reverse lights are now working again how they should. Fuel gauge is working how it should. Speedo is working how it should. Literally everything is working great. I believe, I don't really understand what the issue was with the Speedo and fuel gauge because those came back on the other day. Don't really know why. Not gonna question it though, it's working good. I cleaned all the grounds now. And even after cleaning all the grounds, it did not help the brakes, uh, the brake lights I mean. But I went under here and cleaned the absolute hell out of the trailer light switch that was corroded. And that is when I drove into town to get the brake light switch and it fixed it. So I think most of my lights issues was because of that corrosion in the trailer switch. So I am going to try and put a cover over that or something just so it doesn't get corroded anymore. But truck is officially good. Oh no. It's trying it again, guys. It's been like an hour, hour and a half or so. Well, after a little bit more time, it started doing it again. So I'm gonna just throw in the brake light switch. So this is some weird stuff. If I turn the key to the on position, I turn the right blinker on, they go off. <laughs> and if I turn the right blinker off, they will come back on. But it only does it with the right blinker, not the left. Just picked up some uh, wire end caps because I didn't have any. I think it's the rear trailer brake switch. So is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the whole switch off because it's all corroded inside and cap the wires. And then hopefully we will never see our brake lights come back on again without us pressing the pedal. Believe it or not, the lights came back on about two hours later <laughs> and they would not shut off. Um, I started looking around on what I could do. Uh, I straight up even pulled the brake light fuse and they stayed on. So I kept tracing it. Basically, I got them to shut off by pulling the trailer amp fuse. I believe it was basically grounding out through the trailer lights somewhere on the back of the frame. Even though I cut off um, the plug, somewhere else they were grounding out, I believe. So I just am going to leave that unplugged because I don't even really tow that often with it. I don't need the trailer lights. And if I ever do, I'll just rewire all the trailer lights. There we go, guys. 
We figured it out. Trailer light issues, which is good though, because I keep getting scared and I kept thinking it was PCM stuff. So very glad that it was not. Um, still don't understand why the speedo and fuel gauge had issues, but it is what it is. It's fixed now, so I'm not gonna complain about it. If it comes back, we can look into it more, but everything is working finally how it's supposed to on the truck so we're good so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video um like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next one